Welcome to Synthesize This. In this episode, we're going to be synthesizing organ sounds on the Behringer DeepMind 12. Let's get started. So as usual, the first thing we want to do is initialize a basic patch. So I hold program and hit compare. The other thing I want to do is make sure that the sliders here represent the sound we're hearing. So I'm going to hit program and hit right, which will revert to panel. And now I've got this basic patch. So we're going after an organ sound. So there are two general categories of organs. You have the church organ, which is more of a pipe organ. And then you have something like a B3 Hammond organ, which is more of a tone wheel organ. But in both scenarios, you can think of the organ as an additive synth. So you have basically a bunch of sine waves, essentially, which you add together to create a richer tone. So you add the harmonics together, which is different from a subtractive synth, which is sort of the opposite. You start with a rich sound uh, with a lot of harmonics, and then you kind of remove them uh, to get to sculpt the sound. So in this case, we have a subtractive synth, and we're trying to emulate an organ. So basically, when you combine the different sine waves on an organ, and they're not actually sine waves, but you can think of it that way, you will get a richer sound. And in this case, we'll just start off with that rich sound and essentially get the same sound at the end. And then the other components to create the illusion of the organ is to create a specific envelope shape, play around with the filter, uh, engage some critical effects, and then play organ type melodies. So when you combine all these things together, you can get pretty close to something organ-ish. All right, so let's start from left to right here. I'm going to leave the ARP and sequencer alone. I'm not going to touch the LFOs. Let's go right into the filter. So I'm going to disengage my saw wave. We're just going to go for a square wave. And I'm going to pick a duty cycle that is a little bit thin. And for oscillator 2, we can play around with this as we go. But for now, I'm going to engage sync. I'll raise the pitch to some middle-ish value, the tone to some middle-ish value, and bring up the level. And we already have a sort of organish sound, more of like a farfisa. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but organ from the 60s. Sort of like Beach Boys type stuff. But since we're going for more of a B3 slash church organ, we're going to kind of tweak the sound with the filter and envelopes. So for my amp envelope, I'm going to get a shape with a sustain relatively low and a bit of decay. And I'm going to do a similar shape for the filter, but slightly higher values. Then I'm going to close the filter all the way to the point where you can't hear anything. Increase the resonance a little bit. And then I'm going to increase the contribution of the keyboard and the envelope to quite a bit. And then we want to shape this. And then we're going to jump into the effects section. And this is going to be, this is going to play a big part into the illusion of the sound we want here. So for my first effect, I'm going to pick this rack amp, which is an emulation of a guitar amp, just to add a bit of crunch to that organ sound. For the second effect, I'm going to pick a rotary speaker. And this is a huge part of the sound. This is what you would have like a Leslie cabinet for a Hammond organ. And it's basically this a uh, giant spinning horn which kind of pushes sound all over the room and creates a interesting kind of vibrato-ish effect. It's hard to describe, but I'm sure you've all heard a Leslie speaker before. And next I'm going to add a bit of auto pan, which will enhance the kind of Leslie effect because normally the Leslie is this very like stereo effect which is hard to emulate from speakers, but you can really appreciate when you hear a real Leslie in in a room. Uh, 
And finally, I'm going to add a compressor here just to kind of beef up the sound and make it a little more punchy. And we're going to get into the rack effects, or sorry, we're going to get into the detailed effects section of the rotary speaker and mess about with some of these parameters so we have various ways to tweak the sound. And then down here you have this uh, slow fast switch. So this is the speed of the Leslie speaker spinning. And normally you hear organ players kind of engage the speed up and down as they play. And you can hear the speed increasing. You can and one interesting thing we can do is assign the the high speed value to the mod wheel so that we can sort of increase the speed up and down as we play. So I can go, go into my mod matrix here, hold mod and switch the mod wheel to engage the source and then switch the destination and go all the way to the end. And since my rotary speaker is FX2, I'm going to scroll into the subsection of FX2 here. And there's this high value available as a destination. So I can increase the modulation amount there. And if I switch my speed to fast, I can kind of control the speaker speed of the spinning speaker with the mod wheel now. So the other thing we can mess around now to get different tones is to disengage the the hard sync and find a specific value. So now we are almost playing with the different tones here. We have a one of the tones being an octave higher, which gives you a different kind of organ tone. And of course we can replace the auto pan with a reverb if we want to get a different character or different type of sound. course we can also tweak the the rack amp a little bit add a bit of buzz a bit of crunch and then we can leave it on this page so we can engage the Leslie
So again, the main things I'm changing in these between these different parameters is the filter cutoff, resonance, and envelope contribution to the filter, and then the tone, mod, and pitch, and the sync option. And that's how you can get kind of different flavors. So as you close the envelope, you get the more kind of muted organ. And then you can kind of open it up. You can almost think of this as a draw, one of the draw bars. And then you can get different tones here. And you can engage sync. And then the key is to always have the rotary speaker on to add to that illusion. But you can play around with turning it slow and fast. You can also go back and tweak the rack amp and give it a little more crunch and drive. Get that like rock organ. So you can lay it down on the bring back the reverb so it's not so in your face. All right, so be sure to subscribe if you like this kind of stuff to stay up to date. I try to make more of these synthesized videos um, every week. And leave me a like if you like this kind of stuff so I know whether to make more of this or do something completely different. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.